welcome back to my channel or sub for the first time if you're new here my name is Tira and my channel is sunshine party where we do all things sunshine related still working on that but go ahead and subscribe so you can always see what new things I'm doing whether it's dyeing my hair see this video here or trying something new today Y'all, we are going to talk about Miley Cyrus and how she is no longer a vegan. Per her own words, uh, as she revealed on the latest episode of the Joe Rogan podcast, of all places. So let's start from the very beginning. The very, 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 very beginning of Miley Cyrus. Not the world. That'd be too long of a story. First of all, uh, for those of you who don't know who Miley Cyrus is, where have you been? Daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus and Tish Cyrus, Miley first got big as Hannah Montana. You know that show. It's the best of the world. She had many hits as the Disney pop star, uh, such as The Climb, Party in the USA, Seven Things, etc. So that the hit show ended in 2011, and then just two years later, we got the uncensored Miley and her her, her newest album, Bangers. Now, I personally love bangers. I still enjoy listening to bangers. It's it's fun. There's some some recognizable hits in there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Can't stop, won't stop. So was, I was in college when this came out, so it really resonated with me. Miley Cyrus and I are actually the same age, so that's wild. I also had the same haircut as Miley during the bangers era. And I actually had did have some drunken fat boy I refer to me as Miley, so. I'll take it, you know? Uh, also, around 2011 is when her and her then fiance, Liam Hemsworth, uh, became vegan and openly started talking about veganism as well as animal activism. And it was all great. I know she started her own charity, uh, the Happy Hippie Foundation. And you know, all, all just seemed well. So then let's fast forward to last week when the Joe Rogan podcast episode dropped. And I don't listen to the Joe Rogan podcast. Not, not something on my radar, ever. Actually, the how I found out about this podcast episode, or really the audio clip from the sound, the audio clip from the podcast, was because of some Facebook groups. I know, I'm a dinosaur. I still use Facebook groups. Speaking of, you can join the Sunshine Party's Facebook group in the link below. Always be plugging. Anyways, so uh, Vegan Humor is a group I am part of on Facebook. I'm there for the memes, pretty much it. And people were like, F you, Miley, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, she must not be vegan anymore. Because why else, what else could upset the collective internet vegan community so, so much to just rail against someone's existence? It's when they decide to start eating animals again. And then the, the, the zeitgeist of the vegans on the internet are just up in arms. Uh, which I could totally talk about. Like how celebrity worship, like hero worship, and putting uh, celebrities on these high pedestals and ethical movements and how that's all bad. And the Bearded Vegans actually did an excellent talk about it. Like their whole thing is they discussed every nuance in every gray area. Because no issue is black and white. There are many gray area nuances to be discussed and ruminated upon. So I'll link those two episodes in the description. Also, go listen to them. Andy and Paul, y'all are my favorite. Shout out for the Bearded Vegans. So anyway, I, I decided, you know, let's do it. Let's go ahead and... So I haven't actually, I haven't heard the podcast. I just saw the vegans posting on it and then um, the, uh, the vegan zombie here on YouTube. I saw he posted something about it. I was like, oh, I don't want to watch it. I'll deal with it later. So here we are, a week later. I'm ready to deal with it. So I figured today we would sit down and listen to the whole podcast together and I would just give you my thoughts as we go since I've been vegan for six plus years, seven? <laughs> so yeah, seven years. Wow. That's cool. So I'm coming off of my seven years being vegan and I've been sharing for ten years before that. I'm sure I mentioned that before. Let's let's strap in. Hope you got a snack. So let's get to it. Episode number 15, wow, 1531. Jesus, oh, and this, this cover art's a little intimidating. It's just like him looking terrifying. Ugh. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this because I'm not 
I'm not a fan of Joe Rogan, like, at all. Sure, he's got valid points on things, he's just not my cup of tea. That's all. So, let's, let's see how far I can get into this before I'm just annoyed. Alright, here we go. Hello, friends! This episode is brought- Of course, an ad straight out of the gate. The first six and a half minutes were just ads. My god. She's an amazing singer. She got famous as a child, and uh, I really enjoyed talking to her. She's a cool chick. Please give it up for the great and powerful- Oh, she's such a she's such a cool chick, you know. She's not like other girls, right, Rogan? Right. Hello, Miley Cyrus. How are you? I'm good job. Pleasure to meet you. You also. I'm happy to be here. I'm only two minutes past the ads, and I'm bored. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm bored. I'm not. I'm not here for it. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and skip to the part where she reveals the big secret about not being vegan because I don't want to sit through two hours of this. I'm good. Let's, let's, let's fast forward. Alright, here we go. So they've been talking about... She got a brain injury when she was just two years old. And now they're transitioning, talking into more of her health in general. They were just talking about brain stuff. And she said she's decided to reintroduce fish into her diet to get her omegas. You can get omegas from non-animal sources. Flax seeds, chia seed, DHA oil, that comes from algae. There's plenty of sources available. I just feel bad that she, with all her resources and all her money, couldn't find a registered dietitian to support her the, the ethical vegan lifestyle and just maybe introduced some different food groups into her life, maybe get some more variety in there. Now she felt the only way to get these supplements was just to jump back to eating fish. So, can you up? Properly. Mm -hmm. um, and Don't tell that to the vegans, they'll I, come for you. That's, they're gonna come for me, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm used to people coming for me and it's you gonna be that I come out. Salary. No, I, listen, if I, I give home, I have 22 animals on my farm in Nashville, I've got 22 in my house in Calabasas, like I'm doing what I need to do for the animals, okay? okay. So this is a real, really common tactic people will use uh, as an explanation as to why they don't need to be vegan is, oh, I have so many animals that I take care of, so I'm doing my part that way. If you really cared about the animals, you wouldn't eat them also. Just saying. Okay. But when it comes to my brain, you're not vegan. No. You can't be vegan and live in this kind of, and not be in this quick, but should... No, yes, you can be this quick while being vegan. Sure you can, some people can, I cannot, because it was really giving, I was what having a lot of... What your brain? I feel that I'm much... Slow you down? Now I'm so much sharper than I mm. was, and I think that I was, at one point, pretty malnutrition. Like, I remember going to, um, Glastonbury, and that was a show that I loved. I loved my performance, but I, but I was running on empty. Mm. It sounds like she was doing a really restrictive version of veganism. Being calorie deficient can be really easy if you're already cutting out gluten and maybe doing certain other starches or trying to be keto or any combination of those things that calls for a hard restricting of taking away foods. Yeah, it can be really hard to get all your calories and nutritional uh, dietary stuff in one day if you're not if you don't have the, the food options to choose from. So if you are going to be doing an extremely restrictive version of veganism, you got to be prepared. Like, it's, it's not a thing to crash diet with. It's dangerous. This is your own health. You've, I would think that she took the time to learn about nutrition and what you need to be eating as a vegan to survive and to be comfortable. So it doesn't sound like that's what she was doing, but we'll keep listening. Like, I was on... I was on you, can I ask you, were you doing a vegan diet, like, meticulous? The strictest you were you ever doing, Were you doing intelligently? Like, I did all something? my... Strictest, yeah. Maybe, not, for what I consider a strict vegan diet, I don't eat any dairy, I don't eat any eggs, I don't eat any meat, I don't eat any seafood, I don't eat honey, no bivalves, none of that. So let's see what her definition of strict is. I did all my supplements. Right I did all my protein drinks. I've watched every bodybuilder's YouTube about how they still you can't pay attention to train. I, that's what I'm saying. All of yeah. a sudden, I'm like, those all I need is celery, and like, why are my thighs like fucking huge? Like, 
you know, they're different bodies, too. Oh, uh, the pescatarian. Yeah, that's the, that's what I like to fish. do. Yeah. That's I, what I'm at. So she's claiming she's just a pescatarian right now. I give it a month. There's a paparazzi photo of her eating a cheeseburger. That's just how things go with any ex-vegan, ex, -vegan, ex they, you always, they always start like, oh, I'm still gonna hold to this level, and then just down it goes. You know, we all have different ancestors, and our exactly. ancestors come from different parts of the world. And, you know, I don't know if the blood type thing is Oh, the blood type diet. Oh, my God. No, just no. It's not, it's not sound science. Everyone needs, yes, everyone's different. We all have different bodies that may need different things or process certain nutrients differently. But that's not determined by your blood type. Just not. I think, I think that's more or less, like, the whole announcement was just that little section. Ugh. It's a long interview. I didn't listen to all of it. I skimmed, skimmed through it. Yeah, that little, like, five-minute segment at the half-hour mark was really where she only touched upon her choice to eat fish again. So. You heard it here, folks. Miley Cyrus is no longer vegan. Sad to hear it, but people are going to make their choices. I just wish she chose to educate herself a little bit better about options available to her as a vegan. But what are you gonna do? And one quick other thing. So all the people who are like making memes about the reason Miley quit being vegan was because she was doing too many drugs. You're just playing into the narrative that the mass media has already created about her, her lifestyle, whether she's smoking weed, doing whatever, like let her live. She says she doesn't do those things anymore, so that's clearly... Just leave Miley alone. Like, it's fine. Yeah, it's not ideal, but don't be mean. No, there's no reason to be so mean. Be... I'm, I'm saying be being kind is overrated, but be compassionate. Thank you so much for watching the entire way through and hearing my thoughts and opinions about Miley Cyrus on the Joe Rogan Podcast. So, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button, turn on notifications, so that way you know when I always upload a video. Hint, it's every Wednesday I put a new video out. So, I'll see y'all next week. Bye!